Amen. All glory and praise unto our God. I'm coming from Romans, the eighth chapter, in the sixth um, verse. It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And, you know, I'm thinking about on yesterday, we had preparations to um, go to my parents for Thanksgiving. So as um, everyone got here and we had, um, we're getting ready to leave, we couldn't find the um, car key. And earlier that day, I had took the key and I had put some things in the trunk. And I purposely in my mind said, I'm going to put this key right here on this deep freezer. So when we get ready to leave, we can just get the key and just go ahead and leave. Well, when it was time to leave, the key was not there. So we all took a moment. We looked everywhere. I rehearsed my steps and could not find the key. And I was saying, God, I knew I made a conscious decision to place this key right here on the deep freezer. But at the end of the day, we had to switch um, vehicles, amen, but we didn't allow it to prevent us from having, amen, our peace and having our joy to go ahead and enjoy our family on Thanksgiving Day. So that bothered me. I was in my mind saying, like, how is this possible? But you know, it says to be carnal minded, my God, is dead, but to be spiritually minded, it's life and peace. And so I began to say, well, Lord, you allow that to happen. Who knows what you prevented up the road? You know, you could have delayed our traveling because of an accident or, or whatever the case may be. So we went on and went to my parents. We enjoyed, amen, the fellowship and our Thanksgiving, glory be to God, um, activity with, um, with our family. And it was a glorious, wonderful, wonderful, blessed time that we hadn't been able to do that in almost three years because of COVID. And so we came back, you know, and uh, me and my kids, we turned the house upside down trying to find that key, trying to find that key. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Trying to find that key. And, you know, we couldn't, we still couldn't find the key. And my children would send, Mom, don't worry about it. Just go to sleep. You're, you're probably overthinking it, you know, and, and God's timing, you know, you'll find the key or He'll bring it to your attention. But it was really, really bothering me. And then I, I prayed and I finally went to sleep. And when I woke up this morning, God gave me the scripture, glory be to God, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. God wants us to have peace in everything, in every situation. And we have to know that there's a bigger picture. Whatever the enemy means for bad, know that God, hallelujah, means it for our good. And something good will come out of it, hallelujah. I don't understand, I don't know why we can't find the key, but I begin to say, God, you know, hallelujah, you allow it to happen, you know. Saints, family, and friends, whatever you're facing, Whatever you're going through, glory be to God. Look at it out the spiritual eyes. Look at it out of the word of God. Look at it, hallelujah, and knowing that there's a bigger picture, hallelujah, to your problem. There's a bigger picture to your solution. There's a bigger picture. There is a bigger picture. My God, my God, hallelujah. And don't let nothing take your joy. Don't let nothing take your peace. Don't let nothing take the direction and the path that God has put you on. The things that God has told you to do for to be currently minded is death amen so many people look at life and they tackle life out of our carnal mind and it causes us to worry it causes us to stress and we know stress hallelujah and worry will kill you my god it will cause you a physical death my god and glory be to god hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah thank you god saints of god let's not get bottled and let's not get caught up amen in this earth. Amen. And, and then the things that we deal on a day-to-day -day basis, let, let's let tackle it according to the word of God. What does God say about it? Let God shine a light on your situation because he says to be spiritually minded is life and peace, knowing that God have you. Whatever the circumstance, whatever the situation, hallelujah, whatever you're going to face, whatever you're facing, God has it. Hallelujah. Lord God, we just thank you. My God, my God, somebody might just got a no pay due. 
Somebody, hallelujah, might just got a no pay due, my God. And you don't know how you're going to pay your bills. You don't know how you're going to put food on the table. Amen. But you know what? If you look at it at the kernel mind, if you look at it at the natural mind, it will cause you to, it will cause you death. It will cause you to worry and cause you to stress. My God, hallelujah. And some people will commit things, hallelujah, will go against their bodies, my God. My God, my God. But God is saying, look at things out of the minds of God to be spiritual mind, hallelujah. Continue to look to God. Continue to look to God. Continue to trust God. Hallelujah. Knowing that he's going to make a way. Hallelujah. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. God said he came that we may have life. That's both natural and spiritual. Saints of God, continue to focus on God. Continue to pray. Hallelujah. To praise God. Continue to trust God. Continue to believe God and ask God for the strength. Look at it in a spiritual aspect, knowing that God is concerned about your concerns, and don't let it stress you out. Don't let it cause your mind, hallelujah, to be boggled, trying to figure it out, knowing that God has already worked it out. Lord, I just thank you, Lord God. And I give you today all my stress, Father. I give you all my unconcerns. I give you all my doubts. I give you all my fears. Hallelujah. I place it in your hands, Father God, to live as Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we just thank you this morning. We're going to do what you told us to do. And that is to delete and depend on you and not lead and depend on our own understanding. Oh, God, we just give you praise and honor. We ask his blessings in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus.